So when a board is either actively engaged in the idea of bringing an executive coach you know, into a CEO setting, or they're just the benefit of a CEO beginning to work with someone, uh, it could help the relationship. The relationship between public boards and CEOs and their, their direct reports can be rocky. It can be combative, it can be uncomfortable, uh, it can be dysfunctional at, at times. And so it could be an entire focus of a coaching engagement just to work on that CEO's relationship with the board because it does need to be functional, it needs to be effective, even if it's never completely positive, there needs to be a working relationship there. And so it can have a lot of payoffs and benefits, especially if the coach is aware that there's a tension and a challenge there, really looking for ways to really enhance that. And then often working with the board, a common thing with executive coaches and CEOs and boards is to interview the board about what's working well with the CEO and not, and then really bringing that into an action plan to really work with that CEO on. And then doing a report out to that board at some point down the road.